All right, class, we've waited our uh, 20, 25 minutes, so autolase kicks in. This is where the gluten and gliatin, the proteins in the presence of water, will start to relax. Even though we didn't put any water directly in there, it was there from the egg yeah. eggs and egg yolks. Yes, we yes. chef. All right, here it is. You notice nice color. We're going to unmold it, take the saran out. Slightly tacky, I'll pass around a piece for you guys to look at. All right, a little bit of tackiness, but that's good. Notice, very soft, also good, easier to roll. All right, easier to roll. All right, let me pass a piece around. All right, now, we're gonna roll out a piece of this also. You're gonna need to dust your uh, board with a little flour. Don't go uh, get overzealous in here. You'll notice when you push it down, the semolina acts like little ball bearings on here, and that's a good thing. All right? Notice I'm hand pressing it down first, getting it covered. All right? I'm going to take my rolling pin, roll it from the middle out. I'm going to turn it again from the middle out, just like you do pie dough. I'm going to flip it over. All right, and continue from the middle out. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit more flour. You need to turn it often, otherwise it'll stick to the board. All right? Those of you that are a little lighter in weight, you need to put all your body into it. Again, I'll put it on my hands, lightly dust both sides. You just want to get enough flour on here that it doesn't stick to the board or your rolling pin at that point. The dough will take on a life of its own and the way it rolls out. Don't worry about it. You're going to cut it into the shape that you're looking for, whatever you're looking for, for this project. Nice and thin. Now, you'll notice I've overworked it past the board. Not a problem. Take your bench scraper, cut it, put a piece off on the side. All right, and continue to work it. All right, continue to work it. I got a little high spot towards that edge. I'm going to pull that down. All right, getting a little sticky here. I'm going to hit my pin with a little flour. It's almost right where I want to be. Okay. okay, at this point in time, you want to be able to see your hand underneath it, right? See your hand, see your fingers underneath this, right? And that's what you're looking for. That is what you're looking for when you see your hand and fingers underneath it. All right, now, 
I'm going to cut up a fettuccine cut because it's fairly easy. I'm going to take this and roll it. All right. Just going to roll it like a little cigar. Okay. And I'm going to create my cut with this. Okay, at this point, I'm going to unravel them. This is actually a little wider than fettuccine, more like a tagliatelle. But that's okay, it'll be fine for what we're doing. Alright, notice it's not all sticking together, it's not all clumped together. All right, now when I get this like this, I'm going to separate it out a little bit. All right, I'm going to put it on my, my sheet tray, spread it out a little bit so it dries up a little bit. I can literally put this right into boiling salted water and cook it. Now when cooking this, it doesn't take a long time. As you'll know, there's a lot of moisture in it already. When the water comes back to the boil, start tasting it. You'll probably only need 30 seconds to so maybe a minute or so. Right? This is not like dried box pasta. We're going to cook it for seven, eight, nine minutes. All right? Good luck with this. Thank you very much. Have a great time making this project.